What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Today we're doing another tips and tricks video for MLB The Show. We're on MLB The Show 22 today on Next Gen, and we're going to be taking a look at sponsorships. This is a topic that I've covered in a few different videos on the channel, so if you want more detailed information on it, feel free to browse around on those videos. But we're going to talk about how to get to sponsorships this year, why you should care about sponsorships, and how to utilize them. So first and foremost, we have to talk about what sponsorships are and how we can access them within the game and they're actually a little bit difficult to find they're not one of the things that's straightforward to find within the menu system you're actually gonna have to go to the top right hand corner where it looks like you would be going to your settings and then you're going to scroll down to unlockables so it's a little bit of an oddity it's not related to your budget like it should be or anything like that it's not related under any of your other tabs as well instead it's under your settings tab you go to unlockables and this is where you have your sound unlockables that you can utilize that you've earned through packs and DD and all that stuff and you can unlock your sponsorships here as well you can always apply three of them so you guys can see here that i have three slots filled you'll know that your sponsorship slot is filled whenever it actually has a name in the highlighted blue box uh, for that one and it says up at the top that it's it has something equipped and it's giving me a certain amount of money per game So if I take that out it then says equipped zero dollars And then it shows MLB the show 22 in the little blue box in order to equip a sponsorship You're going to press into that specific sponsorship slot that you want so I'm on the first one right now I've now pressed X and then I can scroll down to see which sponsorship I actually want to add and I have various different ones that I can add here from the per game sponsorships to the per home run per stolen base and we'll talk a little bit about those and which ones are best for you uh, but the per game one is the one that I'm gonna go with right now we had the Easton one in there it doesn't make a difference if I go with that or the opposite one you just have to make sure Sure that you're putting each individual ones in there that you want so for example if I'm looking at my second slot here I can see that I already have this Chandler sponsorship selected elsewhere so I'm not going to be able to put it in this spot so instead I'm gonna have to select that Easton one generally speaking you're gonna want diamond sponsorships they're going to give you the best results gold sponsorships are going to give you a little bit less money per item and same thing with silver sponsorships below that are going to give you a little bit less money below that so that's really the the difference here now we can get into some of the differences between what type of sponsorship you have at each level so we just talked about the difference between diamond gold and silver but let's talk a little bit about how to get these and specifically how to tell which ones are going to be the best for you because without having to go through and do the math on oh I have this many stolen bases per year so I'm gonna get this amount of money versus I get this many home runs so I'm gonna get this amount of money versus I'm gonna play 162 games so I'm gonna get this amount of money so without having to do the math on it there's actually a pretty simple way to tell and that's where we're going to pick out our sponsorships as well and that's going to be through the market within the game so backing out of franchise mode completely you can get to this a couple of different ways you can go from your profile in the top left hand corner I'm just gonna go through DD because that is typically where I go in order to get any of my unlockables I'm going to go to the shop to the marketplace and then I'm gonna look for sponsorships and you guys are going to see what's actually available out here for you guys to purchase. Now, this is where you're going to make a determination on what's really the best for you in terms of price. You can see the comparison between the prices of these. Some of these are going for $1,700. Some of them are going for upwards of 5,000 coins right now, or stubs, I should say. And that's where you're getting into the differences of which ones are going to be best for you and which ones are going to be best just in general to earn you the most money for your franchises because some of these might change you know you might hit a lot more home runs than I do and therefore the home run ones might be more valuable to you than the per game ones like they are for me so the most valuable ones for me are generally the per game bonuses because you're going to get an automatic amount of money added to your budget based on every single game so I know that I'm getting $25,000 no matter what 
Uh, if you get the per home run one, you're you know risking it if you're a team like the Pirates, like I am, of not really getting a whole lot of bonus uh, off of that because I don't hit a whole lot of home runs. They don't have a whole lot of power. So you need to make sure that you have a team that can hit home runs if you're going to utilize those sponsorships. And then the per win one is good if you know you're going to lose or win a lot of games. Sorry, but uh, if you're the Pirates... I'm potentially losing a lot of games, so the per win is not necessarily as valuable as the per game one. And like I said, that is made clear based on the prices that they're selling for. The market will kind of set based on which ones are truly more valuable than the other ones. You'll see that right here, and you can compare pretty much everything that you want to in the diamond category within these pages. And there's an even further better way to compare them against each other, and that is simply by going to my in inventory and then you can go to my sponsorships and from here you're going to be able to compare them all next to each other to see exactly what each of them do and then you can click on them to view them in the market and then view the price on them that way so that might be easier for you guys uh, to determine just go through clicking on each one to determine what the prices are like so you know you can find one that's a, a double play one and view it in the market to see that that's worth 1925 and then you can go in and view the home run one and see that that's worth 38.50 and then you know that one's more valuable than the other and then you can compare a home run one against a per run or a per game so on and so forth and you compare it in that way and that's going to help you guys choose which sponsors you're actually going to want to get within the game to help you earn budget and that brings me to my next point of what do the sponsorships actually do and i've talked about this in various different places but it helps to have a dedicated video for this they're going to actually add to your budget so we can see my budget right here my available budget my projected yearly surplus that stuff is going to change based on my sponsorships they're going to help bring in money to allow me to have a larger available budget to allow me to bring in more players so having those additional perks allocated from those sponsorships is something that is often overlooked especially if you're not a diamond dynasty player whenever the game first comes out every single year those sponsorships cost a lot of stubs in order to be able to get them so if you're not playing consistently in diamond dynasty and stuff like that they're pretty difficult to get like i showed you right now they're only going for a couple grand they're really not that difficult and if you want to be having more success and and have more money available to you within franchise mode you're certainly going to want to make sure you go and spend just a little bit of time picking out a couple of sponsorships and allocating them through your unlockables tab here within franchise mode so that you can help yourself out. So just to wrap this up, to explain a little bit more in detail what this is going to do for you is as you play games and you utilize these sponsorships, you're going to earn additional budget for your team. So as you play a game, for example, with my Easton and my Chandler sponsorships, I'm going to earn a cumulative additional $50,000 towards my budget, and that's per game played. Uh, from my experience, as you simulate through games, it is not going to have the same effect. So you actually have to be playing games in order to achieve the additional budget from these. I did some testing to simulate through, and my budget was the same if I simulated through as opposed to playing through the games where I did get the increases for having these sponsorships available within game. And that makes sense. It corresponds with what they actually are. It's an in-game ticker. It's active replay, and it's the batter walk-up. So you would only, in theory, get the additional budget for having these paid sponsorships inside of your game. So hopefully this information was helpful or useful to you guys in some way. If it was, leave a like down below and comment and subscribe. Like I said, it's something that's a little bit difficult to find in the menus in franchise mode this year, but it's certainly something you may want to spend a little bit of time paying attention to. And with all that being said, as always, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.